Okay, here's a little bit about how I flex a flexagon. This is a hexaflexagon because there are six sides. This is a trihexaflexagon because there are three faces. You see two now. I'll show you the third in a minute. And um, the move that I use is called the pinch move. So what I do is I have it oriented like this with a flat edge on top, so not with an apex at the top, but a flat edge on top. And I look at this line, which on an analog clock would be the three o'clock position, and I push the top and bottom triangle abutting it together away from me. So some people call that a mountain fold. If it were coming towards me like that, it would be a valley fold. But I use the pinch move, which is a mountain fold on that three o'clock line. If I pinch that like that and hold it together, if I can push this line in that then was the nine o'clock line and make it so those two triangles on the top come together and these two on the bottom come together and it wants to open up on its own like that then I know it's a good valid move. So in this case, for example, I would do that, push that in, let it fall open, kind of help it, and we actually get to another side. So I'm going to just undo that. If I happen to grab this and hold it, let's say this way, because like I said, just hold it so there's a flat edge on top. If you go to turn... I mean, move the, the corners and the triangles together in the pinch move like this. And then you push these together. And if it's hard to do, it probably is not going to open. So you see here, it's not going to open and I don't want to force it. So that means that pinch move there is not going to work. So what I want to do is rotate it. And I always rotate one turn counterclockwise. So I try that again. Ah, and that time it worked. Sometimes you have to rotate a couple of times, but whenever you try that pinch move and you have to force it, it's not correct. So don't even try to force it, just reopen it, rotate, and try to flex again. Now to go through all of the patterns, you can just keep doing that, but you're going to get to a point like this where you can't do it, Without rotating so just rotate do the pinch move there see if you can do the pinch move again there on this particular one I couldn't so I'll rotate there do the pinch move do the pinch move nope can't there now this is with the try I think we saw all the sides I can't remember you can see my other video about actually looking at all of the the sides of this one and the pretty patterns. Now on the six one, which is still a hex hexaflexagon because each face is hexagonal, but instead of just having three faces, there are six faces and I have them numbered. So you'll see here, and just because these are number one doesn't necessarily mean this is the number one face. It all depends on how you lay it out when you build them. Um, but if this were laid out to follow the numbers, one through six, one, two, and three should be the easiest faces to get to. Four, five, and six are a little trickier. So I'll just start moving until I get all of them, and I may not get them in order. So we try the pinch move again. Just do that. Will it open? It does. So there were the ones. And the fives. Can I pinch there and have it open? No, there's nothing there to separate. So we'll turn it a quarter of a turn. I mean one turn. Actually a sixth of a turn. We'll try it again. Okay, that opens up nicely. So there's three. We'll try that. Okay, that doesn't open, so rotate. There's one again. So we've had one, three, and five. Ah, there's two another pinch. There's four. Do another pinch. Okay, that's not going to open. 
Let's rotate it. Again, don't force it. It's one again. And there's six. So I think we had all five in that one. And that's basically it, the pinch move.